Okay, everyone calm down. Nothing to worry about anymore, I'm back. <laughs> there was a delay in uploads, but I was away, okay? And I couldn't, I couldn't cover up to here because I'm just not that productive. And a lot of you were messaging me in my comments on YouTube saying, Baz! Walton Files 4 is out! Baz! Walton Files 4! This is how we sound, Baz! Your hair looks amazing! Definitely doesn't look like a helmet! <laughs> None of you have actually said that. I'm just very insecure and I'm projecting right now. There were a few messages on, 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 my, on my comment section saying, oh, react to Walton Files 4. But to be fair, from what I saw, it was pretty controlled. I think a lot of you kind of restrained yourself or maybe you just didn't care maybe that's what it is you know on the discord there was one submission i'm guessing this is the one that got through by fizzaroli stan and this is for the walton files 4 cyber fun tech now before i actually left to go to chattanooga i did a little live stream where basically 90 percent of it was just you guys mocking me for my haircut which um i mean it's it's still pretty bad but you know, isn't it not as bad as it was? During that live stream, we watched the Walton Files one to three. I'm not gonna go too into depth with an explanation backstory of what's happened. Yeah, if you if you guys wanna catch up, go do it for yourself. Go watch them in chronological order. So we're gonna jump into this, but before we do, there is a bit of a description here. So we're gonna read this. Tape four, here we are again mystery solvers. COVID cooled down and after three years, we finally got my aunt's VCR to work. I have so much to say, but I'm going to start off with the technical stuff first. Back when I found the Bunny Farms tapes, I was met with a dead end. Bunny Smiles, oh, Bunny Smiles Incorporated, Bonds Burgers gave me no results. Locals had no more info. I went back to Connecticut to live with my dad. That was until my friend David approached me with an amazing find. David decided to ask locals about the term Walton instead. Apparently that's a name that pops up a lot in the tapes. I haven't watched the tapes myself south lol we were directed to a vintage strip mall that had this one bowling alley stallies originally there was a workshop in that building instead and they moved everything out and stallies bought the space one locker remained labeled walton inside a box with a cheap safe apparently the box has set sat there for decades because they haven't managed bothered to open it me ron and david did some digging through the previous tapes and noticed a pattern the code was 722 curious hmm. 722 wasn't that when it opened? Bonds Burger, wasn't that when Bonds Burgers opened? I think it was at July, I can't remember. Inside, there was a total of 23 tapes. I moved back to Brighton, Michigan to help my friends fix, clean and compile these tapes into what we call the Cyber Fun Tech Collection. This is part one of three. Cyber Fun Tech is a company that funded and created most BSI projects. It's unclear whether CT owned BSI or whether they were simply partners, partner companies. But perhaps CT bought BSI at some point Either way, all the tapes were labelled Cyber Fun Tech, and supposedly, these were supposed to be handed over to technicians and artists. I should note, some bits of this compilation are weird. On some screens it would appear as minutes and minutes of empty static, and on other screens it would appear to be a white screen with faint voices heard on them. As for me, I am doing great. The past three years were filled with some of the happiest and saddest moments, but I'm still standing. I'm going on vacations with my girlfriend for a few weeks. I'll post parts two and three when I return at the end of the month. Anthony. Let's get into what you came to see and what you probably skipped ahead to. You did skip, didn't you? You skipped right to this bit, didn't you? Here we go then, guys. The Walton Files 4 Cyber Tech, Cyber Fun Tech. I am, I am dying. Help me. I'm, I'm dead. Here we go, baby. Hopefully the, uh, God, my voice sounds weird. It's been a while. Literally, I turned on the PC today. I arrived back in the UK yesterday. Okay, balloons. Okay, so for the last video, just basically Felix went to pick up the twins, like Martin's kids, and got them killed in a dry, uh, like drunk driving accident. Then he buried the kids in some like undisclosed, well, like a wood foresty area. And now Martin doesn't know where he is. That's that's what we know from the last video. Oh wow, okay, they've gone full out animations. Nice. Is that Rocket? Come on, Molly. Oh no, it's Ed and Molly. Interesting. Let's go. But it, then that is Rocket. Yeah, that makes sense. So this was the event that uh, Martin asked Felix to pick the kids up from. 
Oh, look at their eyes. There he is. Is that Felix? Damn. And that was the last. The last thing they ever did. Get into the car with that guy. He, I don't know. I don't know why you'd risk drink driving at all. Let alone with, like, kids in the back. That's kind of weird. Let me know if you drink and drive, guy. I'm just, no, that was a joke. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I drink and drive, Baz. It's super fun. Okay, Bunny Smiles Incorporated Distribution. Cyberfun 9... Thank you for being a part of the... Calm down! Oh, look at that. Uh, has she got a napkin in her mouth? Oh, that can't be... Is it, I don't know about that. I just have made sensory issues, like, when it comes to... Uh, yeah, I can't be crazy thinking that that's weird, right? I mean, she's a kid, whatever, but still that... We'll chase our dreams across the sky. <laughs> oh. Cyberfun Tech. So there's two more parts to this, guys, which is interesting, at the end of the month. We'll chase our dreams across the sky. Cyber Fun Tech. This one that... Megaphone, there we go. Hello. Video menu. Okay, Bond's Burgers promo, Cyber Fun programming demo, shower joint movement, BSI cleaning procedure. Okay, Bunny Smiles Incorporated for professional use only. Uh, captions are on. Okay. Charles Brook, 1010-1970. Let's read this. Hi. Just got... I'm, I'm, I'm butchering this already. J okay. Just got hired officially as the computer supervisor for unnamed Bunny Smiles Restaurant. Though, I've been coming up with a few names myself. I've known these guys for a while. Their family. I've been... I've... Wh what does that say? Some work for them. Along with... Something. Agan. For years now. Even before... Cyber Fun Tech. This handwriting is atrocious. She should be ashamed of yourself. Getting to meet the Waltons and the... Crantons... Has been super fun. So excited to get to work. The future is bright. You know what? The future isn't bright because your handwriting sucks, okay? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm joking, okay? I'm just, just jesting with you guys. The Showstoppers. Now, I don't know if this music is copyrighted or not. But um, if the if the audio is sounding weird right now, then it's because it's copyrighted and it's trying to only pick up my voice. Sorry for the immersion spoilers, guys. Boozoo. Okay, so Boozoo isn't the clown. That sounds like a clown name, though, doesn't it? Boozoo. It's like Bozo. You spotted a difference! Bro, it looks like Ollie Sykes. Back bit, back when he was a, uh, like a Banny. Okay, so it's Bon, Banny, Sha, Boozu. What's the clown called? Break it down. Sha. So, I believe either one of the, like, security people who worked at the vault. There was a vault, right, in this... Uh, I forgot what the forest was called. But they stayed there as a project and then she got killed. It's either her or... Oh, no, I think Banny. Okay, so it is. Sha. It's one of the two. Martin Walls' wife is in one of these. And I think it's Banny. 
and Sha, it's Susan, right? Like, or is Susan the same person? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's It's been a while. So is this before? I'm guessing this is during, like, the week that it was open. Okie dokie. Some dodgy stuff going on here. Here he is, Bon. Still don't know who's inside Bon, but it's assumed that it's like Martin. This is... Okay, it's not even moving at this point. What the hell was that? Ah! I can't really see what that is. It's a red square blocking something there. And then whatever the hell this thing is. Looks like freaking Michael Jackson. Like in his later life. Cyberfern72. Beautiful, isn't it? This is one of the first mech models built by Cyberfun Tech to oh, bring it? the magic of Bond's Burgers to life. Very good. Today, we'll take a journey through the magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. Now, okay. Come join the fun. All right, so... Here's the question. How did the souls or whatever get into these suits? How did the like, what happened now? I know that I think some of them were stuffed in there, right? Similar to FNAF, I think. But how did it first start? I'm guessing we'll find out. I don't know if that's already been explained. It's just that these are haunted animatronics. I'm not sure how the souls got in there. Here we go. So there's four of them. Hang on, is, is the clown and this guy one of the same? These are the showstoppers. The face of Bunny Smiles, Inc. Concept art is a very vital part of any good design. So many different ideas to... For sure. Art department. The Bunny Smiles Incorporated art department was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters. Hmm. And creating the designs we all know and love. Rosemary Walton, Ooh. loving wife of Okay, okay, okay. So Rosemary Walton is inside either Banny or Shan, and I think it's Banny. And then Susan something is inside one of the other ones. He's a brilliant artist with a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical. They've all got long faces, haven't they, in this universe? Before becoming the lead artist in BSI, she's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each character looked like uh -huh. in my mind. Okay, so she designed how they look. Interesting. The designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience, while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Bill Clown. Okay, so the clown's called Bill. Oh, jeez. Animatronics! Bunny Smiles originally reached Cyberfront to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested to the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. Mm-hmm. I'm Susan Woodings, the lead technology... There we go. Bunny Susan Woodings. That was, that's who it, who it was who also got killed. Uh... ...animatronic masks for Barnes Burgers. Oh my god, look at that kid's face! That kid was not enjoying that. This looks very authentic. Vintage. We added a ton of features into the models. We managed to even make them have the ability to walk and interact with the audience. Wow. Damn. I mean, d damn. Gosh damn. Is that ever a good idea, though? Not, like, being fully in control of this thing? Oh my, 
What is that? What does that say? Mr. Kranken, this is Norman. I'm sending you this letter on behalf of our deal between Bunny Smiles and Cyberfund Tech, and most importantly, the well-being of our Cyberfund staff. We've been getting a lot of complaints about a member of our staff going missing who was highly associated with you and your team. Is that what it says? Highly associated? Yeah. Susan Woodings has been missing for a week now and here in Cyberfund Tech, we are working as hard as we can to try and manage to get in contact with her. As there perhaps, is there perhaps any detail you could hand us to help locate our missing employee? I'm going to be entirely honest with you, Mr. Kranken, and tell you I have a ton of questions and suspicions about whatever is going on with your company. Whatever it is, it's making both your company and mine look bad to public light. So again, if there's anything that could help us find Susan, write us back immediately. Thank you. I'll see you Monday. The hell is that? It's that mustache man. The console. Here is where all the information and code is stored in the audio animatronics. And it can walk, sing, interact with the audience. Uh, exactly. Voice over IT over 40 that, different responses. And they managed to feel so lifelike to our audience. Yeah, lifelike. Look at those eyes. Nothing says lifelike quite like these eyes. Yeah, okay. Smartical braid allows... Feel... Like, oh, jeez. To have the table rework. Okay, so these are notes on, like, stuff that went wrong maybe during testing. So these are, yeah, testing notes. Cyber Fun Tech Interactive What is the Cyber Fun console? That looks terrifying. Why would you think that's a good idea? Then again, Ronald McDonald was a it wasn't an animatronic, thank God. Yeah, don't worry, it's working. First we need to Is the console on? Yes. Yes, Charles, I just told you. All right, all right. Uh, I'm just checking if everything's going to plan. I know. Don't worry. This isn't the first test we need to do with the robots. All right, great. All right, great. You're taking notes, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I am. Right. <clears throat> test 203. Movement. Movement. All right. All right, so but let me get the console working. Working? Yeah. What the hell? Ah. So this is the test room. We place the tunnel objects around the room. The animatronic is supposed to get to us without bumping into any of the tables. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay. What happens if the robot falls or comes across any object? Well, then we're just going to have to test this out again until we get this right. It'll be a long night, then. It'll be a long <laughs> night, dear. Amen, <laughs> brother. So that's Charles and Susan. All right, everything seems fine so far. I don't think so close to the table. I don't think Oh, Fanny. Oh, oh, you silly oh, goose. I told you to watch for the table, man. Well, damn it. Sorry. <laughs> it's <was laughs> kind of funny, though. Uh, where's the wrench? Was, it's funny if it wasn't a freaking really expensive animatronic. Get it together, Charles. <laughs> Facial tracking. That's terrifying. So I'm guessing this is going to explain why potentially the animatronics were dangerous to begin with. Because one of them must have attacked, right? That's how, like, it's, what, either Felix or Martin was killed by one of these animatronics. It's got to be. That's got to be what's happened. I know, I know. I know. I'm just uh, a little worried. Did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Knowing Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. Yeah. Does Jack or Rose know? Nope. I don't think Linda told them that either. Susan, we have wait, to wait. I say, Ma I said Martin Walls. It's Jack Walton. So who the hell's Martin Walls? Is that just the? Is that the creator? Am I an idiot? Uh, I'm an idiot. Chris knows about the addiction. Let's just focus on work for now, shall we? Right. Okay. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to do? 
Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature, so we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Why don't we check that out? Nice. Jack brought in Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test because the okay. console seems to... So the console recognized Ed and Molly. That's interesting. I have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie, right. Sophie? I guess, I think Sophie Walton was the one that played the arcade game in number three, right? Mm -hmm. I see how this test goes. How's Lily, by the way? She's fine. Spending time with the mother for the weekend. Oh, wow. They're very close. There we go. Recognized. Did I say... Hang on. Did I say friend? No, I'm just seeing things. <laughs> That's a weird face. That's terrifying. Oh, okay. Just recognizing them. Susan Wooding. Took a while, though. What about the other guy? So what happens if they don't identify it? Or what... Charles Brooke. Ah, great. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep, pretty much. Damn. Ah, uh, please. I could really use a beer right now. So Let's go grab some beers. Uh, yeah. I've never never really been the type of guy to be like, when I was working, to be like, oh, I'm going to get off work and have a few beers, you know? I feel like there's a certain trade or a certain, like, work line of work in which, you know, that that's probably more of a common thing. Uh, I feel like outdoor work, you do that a bit more often because you're patched, maybe. What the hell? Who is that? Was that Molly? Okay, 5, 13, 1974. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car? Oh dear, okay, this is them finding out about Ed and Molly. Lay your voice all right! Lay your voice all right! <laughs> you slag! Do you know what else I'm weeks ago? They didn't tell us? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Fuck. How's Jack holding up? Haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. You don't think Felix's story... Why, don't you? A story? I think what? bullshit. I think something else happened, man. Yeah, what, what, what? What did Felix say happened? Nothing worse. God. Could it have gone? Molly and Ed? Listen. I don't even... They just talked about the funeral, though, did they not? I don't think about it. Could have that... Freaking fucking doll in the room. Oh, the doll is in like rocket. What's it doing here? Felix said it is. Oh. Okay, interesting. So maybe it was Rocket, like Ed and Molly, which causes a vengeful kind of spirit to maybe attack one of these guys. And maybe one of these guys is inside Bon. Then again, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't even want to be involved in this shit anymore. Yeah, that's crazy. That guy's covering up a murder. Damn. Let's... Let, let's just check up on the other rooms for now. So I'll check up on the games. Okay, so they're going. Okay, we've got everyone in here, and there's a person like... what? What's that, a sheet over one of those? Which one's that? The clown? I'm confused that it's still about the clown concept. Oh, okay, Rocket's moving. Oh, hang on. Face detected. Track feature stat. Who's it detecting? Oh, 
oh, hang on a sec. They said, didn't they say that Jack brought them in and that it recognizes Ed and Molly? So whoever this animatronic is is going to realize that it's Ed and Molly inside. Oh, that's creepy. If, it, if that's the case. Unless this is like the rocket inspecting. I don't think it is. Oh, God, yeah. No faces found. It's Ed and Molly, mate. That said something about Molly. Why do you beg your pardon? Ew! Yes, I take my support. Audio log number three. June 30th and... Okay, June 30th. Okay, where's Boozoo gone? Oh, hang on. What the hell is that thing? Okay, so... Why is it... Go on, I, I need to know who this is. Who is it? Oh my god! Who is it? That was a ghost! Or something. Oh, hang on, there was something there. Oh, that's... Rose, was it? Was she called Rose? No, that's Susan. Was that Susan? I don't know. Oh no, it's Susan. It's Susan. Okay, I'm, I'm being silly. I'm sorry, guys. It'll take me a while, but I'll get there. And look at this. It's got that kind of uncanny, like, animation vibe to, like, old cartoons. So who's it wasn't okay oh this is the room that we were just in so something went inside bon oh dear they're both behind you hello hello you're all right mate there's bunny It reminds me of like, you know, like the puppet combo games, or like the old like perfect dark games where they kind of map a real life face onto a, a, a model and it kind of has that like weird warping effect. It reminds me of that a little bit. Okay, so something or someone, it's got to be like a spirit, right? Or a ghost went inside Bon. Oh, oh dear, this isn't good. Oh, Bon. Oh, you silly goose. I thought, oh, hang on, I, I th is that Rosemary or Bo um, Susan? I think it's Susan, right? So I thought Susan was like, she died in the bunker. Or is it Rosemary that died in the bunker? I don't know. I'm get I think it was Rosemary. Cause that was Susan. It's gotta be that was Su this is Susan, right? Ugh. Oh that's that's horrible. How does that sound? Oh dear. So whatever's inside Bon is ha, wants revenge. May third, nineteen seventy-four. Just Felix. Or is this Jack? Jack Walton. I 
feel like this is Felix after, yeah, it said 3 a.m. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's, it's Jack. Okay, that is Jack. I wonder where Felix is. Open the door. Why is that on the Oh okay, okay, that's that's Jack on the phone. Why are the voicemails playing? That's really creepy. Well, time to uh, get the clip. That... So where did Felix go? There he is. May third, nineteen seventy-four. Okay, this was just after maybe burying the kids. Oh god, he's got loads of blood on him. That must have been a pretty gruesome... You know what it reminds me of? You know... Huh? Two graves. Why is there a third one? Did he dig himself a grave? Okay, so he's still out, like... It... Oh, God. Shit. Why would you not get rid of that, like, bury it? Alongside the kids. Why would you keep those? That seems a little weird. Oh no, is he getting rid of him? I thought he brought the... The doll back, though. Is he just going to throw the bag in? Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes no sense to keep the doll. Man, that is dark. Imagine that. You just killed your friend's kids. So they went... Oh, he wanted to kill himself. Oh, did he actually kill himself? No, he couldn't have. No, he didn't do it. Okay. Man. I don't know why you take the doll to the establishment, though. I feel like that's just giving yourself away. That's basically just saying, hey, I just killed someone. May 5th. May 5th. This is two days after. Three days after the accident. Oh, three, three days after. Yeah, I can't count, I apparently. I haven't been able to sleep since last week. I finally told him what happened. Told who? It, it was in my office. It, those were... It was the longest day of my life. How... What? You told them and you're not under the arrest? The conversation I've ever had. Pain in their eyes, the, the anger. They've got to... Hang on. 
People will hate me now. Yeah, no shit. And I don't blame them. I have no idea what's, what's going to happen to me now. My life, my business, everything. Oh, boo-hoo, womp womp. But, but the, back, the fact they're still buried down there. Did you not tell them where they're buried? They haunt me every night. They need me up inside. Hey, tell them where... <clears throat> Rosemary asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they, that they left it at school. Interesting. That was a lie. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is. And I can't get myself to get rid of it. It's like a Can't constant reminder of this huge mistake. Oh, uh, who's that? To make it better. Oh, it's the, okay. It's Ed and Molly. That's creepy, man. Well, wow. so what happens to Felix? This has got to be answered. What? Is that the kids? Girl Scouts? Oh god, it is. Ugh. How is this man not in prison? This man murdered two children. I mean, it was manslaughter. But still, he buried them. I'm so sorry. God, I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Is he gonna like, is he gonna, like take his own life and then haunt Bon? Something haunted Bon. July 1st, 1974. So the thing is, all this happened and then they still kind of opened up in, when was it? June? July? Who is this? You know, that's how Bon is in quotation marks. Right. Okay, so they put... They put Susan in Banny. Quick, she's in here. Molly, I don't think we should. You saw what he did to her. He hurt her. He made her bleed. I don't want her to be hurt anymore. It's not fair. That's not our problem. Okay, so this is Ed and Molly talking in like some kind of purgatory land right now. And they realized what Bond did to, to uh, Susan. We have to find her. She doesn't deserve this. We have to. Fine, but be quiet. Oh, this is Susan. Ah! They're whistling. Is that Rosemary or Susan? I'm so confused. So I thought it was Susan because Susan was doing the like the technical I can hear you. Oh dear. Susan. Oh it is Susan. I'm here. I can hear you, Susan. Where are you? Yeah, it's quiet. You're dead, Susan, you silly bumhole. Don't bum you worry. 
You're in safe hands. Interesting. Why'd you come to Wonderland? Wonderland. Your new home. So who's this talking? Beautiful. Not really. Dead? No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. I just in purgatory. Still beating. Is it? But your body is now functionless. That's not good. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. But Going here, brain dead. You're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. Interesting, okay. I would know. <laughs> Who is it? Pleasure to meet you. My name is Bob. Who the hell is You're that? Susan. I've had my eye on you. I know you. That wait, that's neither Jack or Felix, very right? Well, my friend. I'm not on you. I know you very I well. Know you like to fix things, isn't that right? Who is this then? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Well, so do I. Wouldn't you like me to fix you? I don't know about that. What are you talking about? Yeah, can you fix her neck, please? It's, it is really hard to look Perhaps at. I could help you. Thank you. Oh, a gift. A gift. That's nice. Take a look. I sure hope it isn't a dismembered head. Okay, it's a mask. Of Fanny. Is the new you. Yeah, interesting. A wonderful gift that will eventually become your So something possessed Bon during the time where Susan was trying to fix up the animatronics. But who was it? Because I think Felix is still alive at this point, and Jack Walton is still alive at this point. A new body, just like a beautiful butterfly bursting from a cocoon. I really like this guy's voice as well. Really nice voice. You will be. It's really sinister. Reborn. You don't have. To listen to me. That is up to you. But well. what other choice do you have? A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. Interesting. I know so, you're scared. I so what happens when the spirit like the what just dies, passes on? It was two. I'll just say no, just let me pass on. This is no way to live right here. And it's stuck in a freaking stinky animatronic. Everything will be okay. I, I, I don't Apologies for what I had to do to you. But look, the hard part is over with now. Why did you didn't have to do that at all? What this guy just didn't want to be alone in Spirit World, but he doesn't know that he's not alone, right? Because he doesn't. Does he not know about Ellen oh. Molly? Besides, because the spirit is vessel, their spirits are vessel to rocket. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. That's pretty freaking cool, man. I love Bond's design. Is that knocking coming from? Is that someone like? Who's this? <gasps> Who is it? This this kind of reminds me of like the fam in um, Bunny, like in Walton Falls 3. He's gone. They're both gone. 
How are we going to protect her now? Will she be alright? I... I don't know. We have to just... We just have to wait, okay? Alright. Come on, Molly. Let's go, gang! Let's go save the day! So they're just wandering around in purgatory. It's cranking. Hang on, who's that? Coca Isla. Okay. And Martin did Jack Walton. Rosemary Walton, Anastasia V. Susan Wooden's Coraline, Carol, Caroline Heck. Charles Brooke Kyle. The Negris. Bond. That was. Bravi did a phenomenal job. Didn't. No, yeah, it was Bond. Edward Walton. Peter tries rice cakes. Okay. Creative Consult was assistants. Man, this was only done by a handful of people. That's that's mad. But what's going on with Ed and Molly? Are they not inside, like... Because Bon... You know, let's just wait it out, see what happens. To be continued in part two, okay. Maybe it will be answered. So, I know that Ed and Molly kind of were inside Rocket, but are they not vessel? Like, they've got to be, they got to be vesseled. So, what, what's the difference between Bon and uh, Banny, like Susan and whoever Bon is, disappearing? Why did they not also disappear? Why are they stuck in this purgatory world? I don't know. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That was, that was awesome. The animation, the artwork, the voices, the story. Honestly, The Wilson Files is just amazing it will go down as one of the best like analog horror slash like wh what would you call this it's not because it is analog horror but it's it's like animated it's like artistic analog horror something like that i'm not sure but there we go guys that was the walton files for cyber fun tech be sure to go and subscribe to the walton files like all that good stuff I'm, I'm guessing the next part will be at the end of this month so i'll definitely cover that when it's out because yeah i couldn't cover this straight away because i was away like i said but uh hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction if you did let me know down below let me know your favorite part like, give me your theories on what's happening here guys and so it'll be interesting to know what you think or you know i know i butchered some of the story and some of the characters names and stuff in during the video but i think i got there in the end thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys